All right, guys, we are here with the End Tonga Challenge Project, and we have had the amazing honor of sitting down with Waylon Band. Thank you very much for giving us a few minutes of your time. Oh, no problem. So, kind of gave you a real brief description on what the project is that you're about, or that you're joining forces with. What do you think of that one? You know that just by giving us a few minutes of your time, you're helping to end child hunger. That, that's pretty amazing. Um, we do a lot of charity stuff throughout the year, so anything we can do to help uh, any great cause, with great people behind it, that are uh, truly taking their time to do something cool, um, we're happy to do something. That is, and, and we appreciate you giving us your time. So we kind of screened some of the fan questions because, you know, they don't always make ones that are very, you know, video savvy. So we make sure that they're good. One of the questions that they had was, you know, you're from Michigan, or the band is from Michigan. My um, extended family is from Michigan. So Wait, what is... Is this a fan question or is this one of your questions? No, this is a fan question that they asked, but it just happened to be a double that, that I, I know the area. Okay. So, what do you guys think uh, in regards to Michigan versus other states? Because I know that uh, the Michiganders are pretty proud of their state. How does you know how does Michigan compare to I mean, Michigan? You know, it's my home. It's, it's, so it'll always be the most beautiful place on earth to me, especially West Michigan, Northern Michigan. Um, I love it. They could do it out for mosquitoes, but um, I have a lot of appreciation for the entire country, especially the way we travel it. Um, I love being out west. Idaho is gorgeous. Uh, that is gorgeous. We love being down south. We love the beaches in Florida. Uh, we love the northeast in the fall. Uh, you know, I really, truly think this country has a lot to offer. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's gorgeous everywhere we travel. There's certain days my neck gets tired, you know, from looking out the window of the bus like we, as we go down the road. From the scenery that you see yeah, from traveling? Yeah, we all have uh, windows in our bunks. So, nice. you know, put music in, just look out the window all day. And, that is great. So who influenced you guys to become the artists that you are and the band that you are? Who was maybe, is there a kind of a universal influence for the entire band that led you? Uh, musically, we all come from different places. You know, Mitch, uh, oddly enough, I think he grew up listening to loving boy bands, loving pop music. Um, hmm. And he loves a lot of singer-songwriters, like Mark Cohen is a huge influence on him. Uh, bands like Journey, kind of like that 80s, mm -hmm. like Bon Jovi is a big one for him. Um, I come from more of a blues thing. I love Chicago blues. I love the Black Crows, Led Zeppelin, the Stones, the Beatles. Uh, Dean is uh, all over the board as well. He, I think some of Dean, you know, I hate to speak for the guys, but I think some of Dean's favorite music um, is he loves a lot of 60s, 70s, kind of rock and roll. Um, he also, you know, Dean loves a lot of jazz, big band, uh, stuff like that. But, like, if he gets up to sing karaoke, he usually does. Um, Frank Sinatra. Really? Sinatra. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. Um, Tyler, uh, as a drummer, I know that um, Travis Barker is a huge influence on him. Tyler loves the Foo Fighters. Uh, he loves Green Day, The Killers. Um, he's the Stone Age. Um, hmm. Muse is a huge one for Tyler. Um, so yeah, that's where we all kind of come from. Yeah, it's kind of a little variety background of what. Yeah, it's... as far as inspiring our band, you know, like we've had different producers that have really helped guide us into finding our sound, and that's huge for us because. I remember being in L.A., um, we'd all met, and we were all living out there uh, in a one-bedroom apartment, starving, trying to figure out what we were going to sound like, who we were, and uh, Michael Gurley came along and really took hold of our band and helped kind of pinpoint Mitch's voice and help build our, you know, kind of make our band sound cohesive. He introduced us to a guy named uh, Jude Cole, who was a huge part of our story. It really helped uh, shape us. Jude introduced us to Jesse Dupree. Uh, Lee Singer Jackal, some of you may know, he, he was been a really big part of developing our band by basically just shoving us back out onto the road all the time whenever we try to go home. Uh, that led to meeting uh, another producer named Justin Reimer over in Memphis, Tennessee, who just did our last record with. Justin heard our band, heard everything we've been through, and dove in with a fresh approach and really helped shape the band even further. So we've been a lot of, we've been really lucky to have a, a lot of great people come into our lives. Well, and that actually answered one of our other questions in regards to Jesse. So that's what about uh, when they said, you know, for your manager, how'd you guys kind of hook up and meet him? So that kind of answered yeah, Jude the whole. Yeah, Jude introduced us to Jesse. Uh, Jesse used to manage his label called Ironworks for Hamilton or something. And uh, Jesse just, you know, he he's he's a dude that he's got his own band, his own bourbon, his own bike rally, his own TV show. He is so busy with so much, and for him to kind of take us on, he's been my mentor personally for the last four years. Um, made time for me every single day on the phone. 
uh, to help talk strategy, to teach me the music business. Uh, I, I will be thankful to him forever. Well, and that's amazing. Uh, one of the other questions that the fans had was for Jesse's son, but since he's not here he's doing it. He's walking in and out. Right, well, you know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. He's around, what do you want to know? All right, they just said, you know, when did Jesse's son first hold a real chainsaw? And what was the first thing he destroyed? So they're oh, kind of we'll yeah. So I'll have to ask him when he comes back out for that one. Um, the last he's just question. out with us this summer. You know, he's just Tidal's been like a brother to us for the last few years. You know, we go in and out of Atlanta. We're always using Jesse's studio and stuff. We got through Nigel. Uh, his band was touring for the last couple of years, and he wasn't doing anything this summer. And we were like, dude, you know, you're way too talented to stay home. So he's looking to get out. So nice. we have so much fun together on and off the stage. It's, it's perfect. That's great. Yeah. One of the last questions that we ask everybody that we interview, which has been a key part of keeping the entire project going, is that at the end of the interview, you get to nominate three other people in the industry. Sort of like the ice bucket challenge, minus the water and wet. You simply have to nominate. So if you had the chance to call out three people, whether you know them or it's just somebody that, you know, another band that you like or anybody in the industry. Did we get nominated? Um, you didn't, I sought you out because I am good friends with the two bands that are playing, and so I kind of hunted you guys out and said, we're going to interview Waylon. All right, well, I'm going to nominate Sean McCoy from Bubble Flex. Um, <laughs> I'm going to nominate Dwayne Crawford from Royal Bliss. Those are both, I don't know, guys, yeah, Dwayne's a bass player. Sean, I'm not sure what Sean does with Bubble Flex, but he's a key member. That name has come up before, so this is the second what time Bubble Flex. What did we name him before? So We're you kind of like the Ice Bucket this Challenge. This is Dean, by the way, our bass player. There you go. All right. So you get to nominate three people in the industry, sort of like the Ice Bucket Challenge, to, to do an interview with me to keep the project going that I do, which Wayne is... Wayne Crawford, that's a good one, Sean. All right. Hmm. And Happy Three. If you have fourth one, it's fine. What are you thinking? I don't know. Hmm. Man, there's this guy. What's that dude's name down in Dallas, Texas? Oh, yeah. Cortez? Cortez. The lead singer of a band, Cortez. Al Cortez. For us. Al right. Cortez. Character and he's awesome. Find All him right. on Facebook. That dude's insane. I will. I want you to interview him. All yeah, right. I will. So it. Send it to me personally. We need to make that happen, and then I will definitely send that to you. Okay. So we'll have to hunt on Jesse for his, or uh, Jesse's son for Nigel, Nigel for his question. Sure you can grab him. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab him. But thank you guys very much for giving me just a few minutes of your time and helping to keep the project going. It's very important to us, and we really appreciate Good it. Good luck with it. Thank Travis. you.